hey guys hope you're well welcome back to another video hope you're keeping well keeping safe covid is still here with us in today's video i'm going to talk about how to dress for success it's a very important topic for me that's why i have my notebook here i want to make sure i don't miss any pointers and when i mean how to dress for success i do not only mean at the office but in life in general um when it comes to networking whether i'm at work or not just to dress for success all around my life you know in terms of makes me help make friends uh, when i'm going to pick my kids when i'm at work and when i'm doing my errands so just dressing for success in all areas of of your life so whether we like it or not first impressions do matter people will judge you by how you look this is just the world we live in so how you look your clothes do matter how you uh, you're well put together your hair your general hygiene so people will judge you for how you look definitely first impressions do change but make sure that the first impression that you give people is a positive one you know have an image for yourself let it be a positive image you know it's, it's called personal branding for a reason you know uh, put effort in your clothes put effort in how you look it goes a long way I know most people especially creatives especially people who are in the tech world will say you know what I'll throw in a t-shirt it's all in my head I do a good job anyway but sadly that's the world we live in people will judge you anyway whether you like it or not so I think for me first impressions really matter and that's why this is a very big topic for me and I'm in the image industry this is what I do for a living so today I'm going to talk about a few pointers that ensure that you dress well you dress for success and you look good if not all the time most of the times so number one is investing in good quality clothes quality over quantity i always talk about this i think i talk about it until I ran dry my breath i ran out of breath but it's important and it's a lesson i've learned over the years i'm trying to find ways of buying quality buying not necessarily less because i can't say i'm a minimalist that would be a lie but buying quality clothes that do last long and do match my personal style it involves purging your wardrobe maybe every six months every one year remove what you don't wear what does not serve you people don't know it but we mostly wear 20 percent of our clothes 80 percent of the time so whatever is not serving you you've not worn for six months one year doesn't fit you've lost weight, you've added weight, pass it along, give it to someone else. Definitely give out or sell clothes that maybe you've not worn or are worn gently, but let it have another life in someone else's wardrobe who's definitely gonna, going to put it to use. So purge your wardrobe and in purging your wardrobe, you learn how to invest in quality over quantity. For example, I recently got a red trench coat i had one from zara but then i found a better quality one from lk Benet, so i'm changing it i won't now have two red trench coats i'll have one so i've exchanged the better quality one for the low quality one and i just have one so purging your wardrobe helps you helps you understand what you have and helps you over time shop quality over quantity it takes time it takes discipline it takes years it takes having supplied to stop yourself. Again, I said I'm not a minimalist, but definitely I am more leaning towards quality. And quality clothes speak for themselves. You don't really have to do much. You don't have to have accessorize. Again, on the point of good quality clothes, we are talking about try to lean more on natural fiber, silk, try to stay away from polyester, silk, cotton, linen, they always look better and they are of higher quality. So those are the kind of fabrics you tend to lean more to give your clothes that appearance of structure well put together. Good quality fabrics also enable good tailoring. So when I'm talking about good quality material, those are the kind of fabrics I'm talking about. Clothes that will last the test of time, you know, classics. Clothes that don't necessarily follow all the trends. It's not bad to follow trends, but ensure that not all the clothes in your wardrobe uh, follow trends because tre clothes that are trendy don't necessarily have good quality because they come and go. So when I mean good quality is clothes that are classic and are made of natural fibers. I also feel like your clothes show your personality. They tell a story about you. So the second point when it comes to dressing for success is start with basics start with a capsule wardrobe i repeat and repeat and repeat Start with a capsule wardrobe meaning neutral colors black white beige caramel figure out what works with your skin tone some people white to work some people it's ivory start with the basics because with the basics you'll be able to come up with many outfits that's using 
this same garment without people knowing so start with the basics neutral colors it's also very elegant to wear neutral colors from head to toe for example if you are black on black white on white white on black so invest in neutral colors invest in in basics first before you can now grow your wardrobe and experiment and play around and try on trends so neutral colors is one of the keys of dressing for success Number three, it's important to understand what colors work for your skin tone. There are many tools on the internet, many videos, many books you can read on what works for your skin tone. That's what we do here at Image Redefined. If you cannot afford our services for one reason or another, you're away, do research. I always say invest in yourself and dressing for success equals to investing in yourself. So find colors that work for you. We can all wear all colors, just depends on the different shades. For example, there's a shade of red that will look good on me and will not look good on someone else. Invest in colors that look good for your skin tone so that at the end of the day, you end up looking sophisticated, you look polished, and you also bring out your best features. When I mean about colors that make you look your best, it's colors that show your features, colors that make your eyes look brighter, your teeth look whiter, I can see your cheekbones, you know. So that's what I mean by colors that bring out your best, colors that match your skin tone. So invest in understanding colors that work for you. Again, you can seek the services of an image consultant, you can research on the website, you can watch YouTube videos. It doesn't have to be a process that costs an Amanda leg. Definitely, if you seek the help of an expert, it saves you time, it saves you experimentation, it saves you waste of money, but you can also figure that out, out on your own. So find colors that work for your skin tone. That ensures that you look your best at all times and you're putting your best foot forward, for lack of a better word. Another point is match your hardware. Your hardware means your metals, it means your jewelry, it means your accessories, it means your belts, it means the buckles on your shoes, the buckles on your belts, it means your watch, earrings, rings, the hardware on your bags, your headband. So match your metals, match your hardware. If your preferred hardware is gold, which again, we do it here at the office, but you can figure out what work for you, then ensure your theme is gold. If your theme is rose gold, then every hardware you have is rose gold. If your theme is silver, then the same applies. If you can do two tones like silver and gold, like I do, although I tend to prefer gold, then ensure that your hardware matches in everything that you wear. It gives a sophisticated, clean look and helps you look very well put together. So that's what I mean by matching your hardware. It also applies in terms of your spectacles, your eyewear. Let me not forget that. Another point is less is more. Uh, try to balance your outfit, try to balance your accessories. Uh, don't overdo it. At the end of the day, we want to see you. Don't make my eye feel like what you're wearing is overwhelming do not visually stress me for example you don't need to wear all your jewelry in one day you know if i have a red outfit a red lipstick then i'll tone down the shoes i'll tone down the bag so less is more you don't need to wear a big solid ring big solid earrings big solid necklace a red dress you know less is more we want to see you as much as you have accessories to accentuate your outfit to give your outfit character don't overdo it and this comes over time it comes with years of trying out what works and what doesn't we've all made these mistakes but when you're conscious about it when you're dressing up then you'll be able to know when you're overdoing it and learn how to balance your outfit your accessories and look well to put together and not to screaming. Another point is dress appropriately. Understand what the occasion is. For example, if I'm going to work and it's very formal, dress appropriately, ensure you're not being too casual. There is no point for a child to write you an email and call you for a disciplinary actions because of your dress code. If you know your workplace is formal, stick to it you know don't look out of space don't want to stand out for the wrong reasons i'm thinking about a working mom or a mom who's going to school for a sports event like let's say i'm going for sean sports day i'm not going to wear heels and maybe we are in a field where there is 
grass and I'm going to be sinking in. I definitely dress the part, you know, comfortable pants, comfortable t-shirt, definitely for me it's with a collar, uh, sneakers, dress the part. Sometimes some events have a dress code, try your best to stick to it and it's only respectful and to dress appropriately according to the occasion. Really don't want to wear something too short, too tight, too big. We don't need to show unnecessary parts of our body. We don't need to show things like cellulite, um, love handles, things that don't do us a favor. So dress appropriately. On that note, I do not understand why people wear tights to work. You know, what I mean by tights, I do not mean by the stockings. I mean tights to work. You cannot wear tights and a small t-shirt to work. It's a formal environment and we can see through your tights it's quite inappropriate when if i'm your co-worker or i walk around you i don't know where my eyes should look because it's a bit too much so dress appropriately it's part of dressing for success ensure that your clothes are ironed they are not torn they are not worn out the color is not faded no one to let go of things you know it goes back to the purging point i talked in the beginning you don't need to wear clothes at heart Torn, unless you didn't see it when you leave the house but it happens to me it happens to all of us but just ensure that before you leave the house look at your clothes are they ironed as simple as does it have any holes is it faded you know part of on top part the top of my trouser is another color and below is another color so just ensure your clothes are in good condition it helps with looking well put together and dressing for success when it comes to prints, florals, plates, patterns, find out what works for you, medium, small, large, uh, let it not overwhelm your body shape, let it not take away from you, let it complement you. For example, if I wear very big prints, it overwhelms me. If you want to experiment, start with small prints, then have confidence as you move along. I can only wear to small to medium prints, so I'm not saying don't wear prints, but just know what works for you. Ensure that Whatever you're wearing is not taking away from you. That's the point at the end of the day. Another point is a seamless fit when it comes to your clothes. A seamless fit which will be dictated by your own personal style, okay? There are people who like a loose fit. Loose fit doesn't mean too baggy. I like structured things. I like things that fit. I might tend to wear, if I'm more careful, a bit too tight, but wear a seamless fit. If I'm a size 12, I'm not going to struggle to wear a size 10, you know? So understand what works and what fits your body shape and what fits your personal style. It really helps with your the output of your clothes and your outfit looking well thought through, looking neat and clean and sophisticated. So please wear what fits. Ladies, we tend sometimes to really worry about the size. At the end of the day, even I myself, I play around 8, 10. If I get on the heavier side, I could do a small 12. And then I realize I have to go to the gym, exercise, watch, watch what I eat. So I have different clothes for different seasons in my life so i ensure whatever i wear fits well invest in a tailor i always talk about this so you can adjust your clothes so they fit well if you can have one tailor the better so that at least you're speaking the same language and you will not have to worry about someone destroying your good quality clothes and ending up wasting money so ensure that you get the perfect fit for your body shape and your personal style we must definitely not forget about good hygiene. Have your nails done short, clean. They don't have to have polish if it's not your style. Ensure your teeth well cleaned. You do not have bad breath. Ensure that your hair is neatly done. Smell well. Use deodorant. If you can afford, use a cologne, use perfume. Have good manners, be polite, be kind. That is still part of the package. It's still part of finishing up the dress part so that at least you give out the best positive version of you. So general grooming and hygiene is very important together with the clothes. So that's something most people tend to forget. General hygiene and good manners and being well behaved plays a very, very big role in the world we live in. So that's part of the package. Another thing, find out wherever you spend most of your hours of the day, if it's at work, if it's school, if it's at home, if people are allergic to perfumes, don't put too much of it, understand the dress code of where you work, the dress code of your industry, the dress code of your day job. For example, if you work in a bank, that's a very formal business environment, understand the dress code. For example, they have suits, 
trouser suits, skirt suits, they have colors they're supposed to wear, not too bright and not too screaming. If you're in a creative industry, then again, color, texture, print is deemed to be interesting. It's deemed to be creative. It's welcome. So understand your industry, what dress codes align with your industry, what is the do's and don'ts of your industry to avoid not fitting in, to avoid again, like I said, being called out for all the wrong reasons. Life is already hard. We don't need you to be called out for how you look and how you dress. Something else for ladies, nowadays even men use makeup, not too much makeup, you don't want to overdo it. Blend your makeup well, make sure it matches your skin tone. Sometimes we are human beings, we do get it wrong, we have bad days, but ensure to practice, invest in good makeup, what works for you, uh, practice how to blend, practice how to apply your makeup. It takes time, I'm not saying that we would have bad days, but if you have good clothes, they fit well, they have good quality, they match your personal style and your body shape and your makeup is overdone or your makeup is off, then it spoils the overall picture. So if you're someone who is interested in makeup, practice, practice on yourself. If you can't pay a makeup artist, and again I said it's a journey, it's a process, I'm still learning myself. Sometimes you get the shade wrong, sometimes you're in a hurry, you don't blend well, sometimes you overdo it. Some industries, there are some lipsticks you can't use, some eyeshadows you can't use. So figure out what makeup works with wherever you are that you work and your industry. Something else to note is that your clothes should match your level of activity, your clothes should match what you, you do during the day. If you're someone who moves a lot, for example, if you're a teacher, ensure to wear clothes that are comfortable, that are not restrictive, clothes that are not showing, you know, things that kids do not need to see. I remember when I was a kindergarten teacher, I used to be very careful not to show my cleavage because kids who are young will put their finger there, they're just from breastfeeding, you know, don't show inappropriate things. So let your clothes match your activity level. If you're someone who walks around, uh, I know people who have two pairs of shoes, one flat shoes, one high heel shoes, so you're able to walk comfortably, for example, in the office if you stand long hours. So ensure that you understand the, your levels of activity and find clothes of good quality that match your body shape and your personality that also match your activity levels. When it comes to the workplace, dress for your next level, you know, dress for that promotion, dress for where you want to get in terms of the corporate ladder, your office, uh, the role you want to play. It really does help in terms of also your mind, your perspective, to prepare yourself for that job. So that's important if you're in the corporate world, if you're in at the office, that's important. So dress for your next level. I think it's a good way to put your mindset to the right goals and objectives in, when it comes to your career. Lastly, before I finish, focus on your best features. Know what you want to show off, know what you want to hide find colors, find textures, find prints to hide your flaws and accentuate your good parts. It takes time to figure that out, but know what works for you. If you have nice legs, show them. You know, if that's what you want to show. If you have a nice bust, know how to show it, but show it in a nice and classy way, you know, we don't have to have everything on the table. If you have a small waist, know how to show that through your clothes. So that's very important when it comes to dressing for success. So I'll finish with just encouragement that no one is born with style, no one is born knowing these things. Uh, some people might have a flair towards it, some people might be more interested than others. I've I am more interested and I started early in life, but you can learn these things. You can put effort in how you look, which equals investing in yourself. So start your research today. Start caring about how you look. Start putting effort in your image. Like I said, it's important in the world we live in, whether you like it or not. For example, if you pay me today to come and give a talk, fine, you've paid me for my knowledge. But also looking good is part of respecting that opportunity you've given me so that I come and look my best, so that people can be more eager or more interested in hearing what I have to say. Definitely most people have the knowledge, have the experience, know what they are doing, their careers in their lives. But just finishing off with that final package of looking good helps you look the part. So again, like I said, we were not born knowing style, we were not born knowing what works for us. Our body evolves and changes, our personal style evolves and changes. So be patient to yourself and just be conscious about how you look when you leave 
you're home in the morning or where you live, you're door in the morning and put yourself out there in the world. I hope the example of clothes I've shown you, the visual representation on the video, have helped you to understand what I was highlighting in terms of pointers to dress for success. Most of those clothes are from Mokas. Mokas is at Westfield Mall, the mall that has Quick Martin Love It on, I think, first floor. They usually have clothes from the UK, which are good quality and good pricing, if you ask me, if you factor in getting on a plane, paying for, for accommodation. So I hope. What I've shown you will help you start your journey into dressing for success and thinking about how you look when you leave your home in the morning. I hope you enjoyed this video, you can relate to it. Ensure to like, subscribe and share. And until next time guys, ensure you dress for success.